Welcome to Pon Cat You, where today I'm teaching my friend Chris all the ways he can channel his inner Ichihime and call for that cheap one Han Tanya, except without throwing the game for it, complete with real game examples and live over the shoulder backseating. So, a little context first Chris and I are both a part of the Richi Nomi Mahjong Club in New York City, and I happen to be paired up with him via the club's mentorship program as his Mahjong coach. Chris is a club veteran and has been playing the game for even longer than I have, and he's the captain of the Opie Dopes, one of the teams in the club's locally run league, the Nomi League currently being streamed on their YouTube channel. Check it out. While Chris has been playing for a long time, he acknowledges that there are plenty of gaps in his strategies since he has a full-time job. I prepared this lesson, we got on a Discord call, and I got the okay from Chris to share it with you guys. It's a long lesson, so I do recommend taking notes. And keep in mind, since Chris is more experienced, we're going to be using a lot of advanced or untranslated Japanese terms during this video. So this lesson will be more comfortable for at least intermediate level players. But I will overlay relevant definitions on the screen whenever possible. Let's get to it! Right now, we're going to focus on cheap calling. I think you you already intuitively understand. If you have a Honitsu, if you have like Dora, you call into a manga and you get it. Um, the thing about cheap calling is that because by definition, like we have like one or two Han, maybe, maybe three Han. I'd say like two and a half Han is like the max for like a cheap okay. call. Hands um, up to like 30, 3,900 value, like like 330 maximum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, or, or like, a, like a Tanya with Dora, and then like maybe you get Sancho on one side. I would still call that a cheap call. It's like two and a half Han. But yeah, cheap, since cheap calls by nature, they don't have value. We have to instead emphasize the other parts of what makes Mahjong hands good, which is efficiency and safety. So we need some combination of both of these, depending on the positioning and the timing of the of the call. There are two kinds of cheap calling, which I'm going to call proactive calling, which is we're calling to drastically increase the tempo of the of the hand before anyone else really. Uh, we're being aggressive with our calls and forcing everyone to match our tempo. And then there's reactive calling, which is calling to keep ke tempo with other players. So if we see someone do a move, like they make their own calls, they call Richie, or they, they have some other sign that they have Tenpai, like some unusual discards or something, then we want to match their tempo if we if we feel like we're we're slowing down compared to them. We want to call to keep up with their tempo. There's four different considerations we want to keep in mind, uh, like four different brackets of considerations when we're thinking about like, what situation should I do a cheap call? And uh, those four considerations would divide up into positioning, ideal positioning, the ideal shape, ideal safety, and the ideal timing. So each four of these is going to have their own set of bullet points. The ideal positioning in terms of like points and stuff that we want to have a good time to call is uh, number one, if points are close, especially within 4,000 points, because cheap calls really will matter in that case, in terms of the actual point value. When points are close, that's number one for good positioning. For number two, for ideal positioning, your closest rival is pushing somehow, like a pushing tempo, maybe like calling or calling reach or something. So if your closest rival is, is doing something, we want to also uh, call to match them. That's point two. Uh, third point for positioning, if you're in first with a good margin, you want to you want to call a hand probably, especially if you see that the dealer is pushing, because as the person in first, you want to make sure that the hand progresses, the game progresses, and if the dealer gets Renshan, that is the opposite of what you want. And then finally, if you're the dealer and anyone else is pushing, you want to you wanna be pushing a hand, even if it's cheap. Those are the four points for um, positioning, if they're the points are close, your close rival is pushing, you're in first and the dealer is pushing, um, or if you're the dealer and someone else is pushing. So if any of those conditions are met, then that's like a that's like a plus one in the point of like maybe we should call. Besides positioning, next we have the ideal shape of the hand. Uh, generally, number one, we want to have five workable blocks. So like five like two tile shapes. Or four blocks with a good chance to draw or call into a fifth. So we'll get into that later where it's like possible to like take like a like a complex four tile shape to to easily call into um, a fifth block somewhere in there. If you have a reasonable expectation, you can get five blocks. That's that's pretty ideal. Uh, number two for your ideal shape is that um, your hand isn't likely to be completed with a valuable closed Yaku. I, this is pretty intuitive. Like if your hand is already pretty close to, t to Pinfu and close Sanshoku or something, you probably don't want to call. Um, especially if your entire hand is Dragon Weights. And then number three, 
Uh, if the call fixes a bad weight in your hand, that's a plus. I would say any weight that's five tiles or less is a bad weight in this context. So, like, any Kanchan, right, counts as a bad weight, any Penchan. And then any Ryanman also that has, like, at least three of its tiles Not gone. A, yeah, too many dead tiles already Yeah, out. yeah, I would say or, that, or that counts otherwise, as... Like, otherwise, like, in your hand, if you have, if you have yeah. a complex shape... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wanna you wanna like fix the the weights that are that are bad in your hand, and and keep the weights that are good in your hand. So if we can chi a tile that fixes a bad weight, that's a, a huge plus for calling. And the number four is if we have also good pawn candidates, um, also with like complex shapes, like seven, eight, eight or something, um, or like a honor tile. Honor tile pawns, like if we have a bunch of those that we can use in our in our open hand with Iaku, um, that that is a huge plus in calling. Number five for our deal shape is that um, we have a reasonable expectation that you can end the hand with a Ryanmen or a good Shan pawn. So if our expectation is that this hand is almost definitely going to wait on a Penchan, that's not a great calling hand. I mean, it's, you know, if it's our only option, then we might still go for it. But we would love to use cheese and pawns to manipulate our, our weights so that our tenpai is the best possible weight it could be. And our worst weights are called off and completed by other people, if that makes sense. So those are the five points for our ideal shape of the hand. Um, the ideal safety of the hand, well... Uh, this is with the caveat that safety matters more for open hands than closed hands, but and it also matters more in like the second row rather than the first row. So the first point for ideal safety is that one of our blocks is reasonably safe to discard if we need to fold. So usually that ends up being like the pair or triplet. Like if we have like like a eight like a two or eight pair in a Tanyo hand, that's like pretty decent to fold with. Or if we have like a Yakuhai hand. And like we have like you know some spare honor tile pairs or something, that's a that's a great folding hand. That's a great safe uh, open hand to go for. And then number two, if our blocks are good enough in our hands, so if we have like a lot of strong Ryan men, a lot of strong Sean Pone, we don't really need a lot of extra tiles. Then we can afford to keep a designated safe tile as like like a sixth block. So if we have like a if we have enough room to have a a nice safe tile like a Genbutsu or Suji Terminal or uh, like a twice cut honor or something that also boosts up our ideal safety. And so we could say that, oh, you know, I could call a hand and like if someone, even if someone calls Richie, I still have some tiles to, to fold into if that has to happen. Cause again, right, we have to emphasize that um, calling can be dangerous because we're taking out options in our hand that we could use for defending later and so um, we want to make sure that we're not compromising our position by making sure that we have some kind of safety in the late game uh, and then finally we have our ideal timing number one uh, we can call in the first row if our shape and positioning are good and then number two by the time we're in the early second row we want to be into beyond shanten or ishanten with maybe at least one safe tile so yeah, early second row, like the turn seven to nine, we want to be at least Rian Shanten with some safe tile. And then number three, late second row, we want to get we want to be either E Shanten or or Tenpai. And if we are E Shanten, we definitely want safe tiles. And even if we're in Tenpai, we probably want safe tiles. Because we're not trying to win, we're trying to prevent other people from winning with a cheap hand. And then number four, if someone called Richi and we can reasonably cut safe tiles to get Tenpai. That's like reactive timing. Like we see a Ricci, obviously they're in Tenpai. We need to stop that. But if we have to cut some pretty dangerous tiles, then maybe we shouldn't do it. But if we can cut some reasonably safe ones, then why not? And then the, the fifth point is that um, just, well, it's just a general principle that if we call early, we want to prefer a better shape and like better tile acceptance so that we can like utilize our speed to its advantage. But if we call late, we prefer keeping safer tiles over tiles that give us more acceptance. The later we call, the more we want to have an out if someone challenges us with a bigger hand. 
Yeah, so either strike them quick before they have, you know, the chance to get their bearing, or we, uh, you know, take a more reserved stance and kind of, like, poke at the, poke from afar. That's, you can kind of think of it like that. And then, a side note, you can also include, like, value, right? Even if your hand doesn't have guaranteed value, but if it has, like, some potential value, like Dorotanki or something, or, like, Sanshoku or, like, some weird, some other weird Yaku, or, like, Akka, then you can consider that as well part of your your consideration that like hey this is a cheap hand but it could also be three han or four han if i get really lucky so that was that was a lot i'm just pointing it out there that these are pretty much every possible reason you would want to have a cheap calling hand and if we see any of these like match up with our situations we're thinking like okay that's a plus one that's a plus one that's a plus one and anything that's like completely against what we have like like if we're ishan 10 for uh, for Ping Fu Sanshoku, like, we don't need to call that. Especially if it's, like, early on. Ideally, we want to actually have one maybe bad shape so that we can fix it with calling. Because otherwise, you don't need to fix what isn't broken. Just just call Richie, right? We'll we'll run into situations like we'll, like that, where um we'll have to consider all these things. And generally, these are the things you're going to be looking for. Okay. I, think, I think for you, um, the ideal safety part is going to be, like, a little bit of a learning curve because... You definitely play more for acceptance. Um, right. But ideal safety is something we worry about more in the second row. So just think about that. For, um, first row, you're playing normally. Take all the acceptance and like all the upgrades you can get. But after that, in the second row, we think a little bit about safety. Think about a little bit about, okay, what if someone calls Richie right now, though? And then we prepare for that. Okay, one more point. Post-call, right? Once you open your hand... Stick with five block theory. Try to try to be more five block theory than you normally are playing closed hands. And that's because complex shapes are just so much better if you have an open hand that could chi or pawn the same block. And like you you usually want to emphasize more speed when you're calling hands and like complex shapes with five blocks helps a lot with that. So if you want to like slow yourself down a little bit and have like a sixth block, that's gonna be more men's end style. Unless, unless you do feel like you have the opportunity to like keep an extra door or something. Also, with cheap hands, one more thing: try not to con. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I pushed that button and I was like, "The hell am I doing?" Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm not sure exactly how much uh, that that really is a problem for you, but, but yeah. I mean, just in general, the you should only con with an open hand if you're like you have a really good Ishan 10 or if you're already Tenpai. And right. there's nothing really in between that. And if you'd like have like an add-on con or something, just um like the Shoming con, right? Um just like just right. keep the con tile, you know. Just keep the con tile. You have an on con, you could keep the con tile. And like that con tile could be useful even. So especially if it's like an honor tile, then you can use that for safety. Eh? So I'm gonna go into one of my games and uh, point out, like, two, maybe three examples of, like, proactive calling, which, again, is, like, calling before anyone else and trying to speed up the game. And then also an example of, like, more reactive calling where, okay, lots of things are happening and I want to keep up with everyone. I'm going to go to East 2 here. And let's see. We want to go to turn 3 I put on. But right off the bat, you can see that this is, like, this looks like a callable hand, right? What are you thinking about yeah, this you've hand? Got, you You've got two. You've got two Yaku high pairs. You can you can get out of this with, with two with two and thirty, maybe three and thirty if you pick up the eight the yeah. uh, eight pin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got that two. You've got the two four mon shape. You could chi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you ha you've just drawn another backup pair, so you can actually call both Yaku high if you can see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So this looks this this is a hand I would call. Yeah, which is good. Um. Is uh, it's it's looking like pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Though we do have four pairs. All right, what do you think now that we have four pairs? Uh, only consider Cheetoy on the fifth one. Nice. Yeah. All right. And now especially we get to now we get to here. They're call yeah, especially because they're callable pairs. It's not like you have ones and nines that you can't really call yeah. out of. It's yeah. not like you have, you know, you have some other complex shape that's like, oh, I have, I already have a completed sequence or something. <laughs> elsewhere so, yeah like. so um but now we get to the point where we could cheat as three mon and let's let's think about that by going over our list of things a list of points of like positioning shape safety timing etc 
Right. And so let's let's true. let's list like the the ones that we see match this situation. Right. So so it's it's still early in the game, so everything is close. Yep. Um. So there's uh you know you're you're early in the hand so, um. So that that's a good consideration to try to force things along. Mm -hmm. Um, you have uh, five well-defined blocks. Yes. Um, and you have, you know, and any and and more more importantly is that you are guaranteed to have Yaku because you are you have to call or get a uh, a triplet of one of the dragons. Yeah, I, I didn't mention so, that, but yeah, having a Yaku is pretty important. <laughs> right, yeah. That's like uh, Atozuke calling is a whole different... Yeah, yeah, Atozuke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have you have a guaranteed Yaku, you have five well-defined blocks, it is early, um, and, you know, we, we really don't see a better path for this hand. So okay. I don't think there's any reason not to call that. Okay, true. Um, the big, the two big points that I also want to bring up is that, um, well, well, implied with uh, everyone being close in points is that our closest rival is the dealer, which uh, I probably should have mentioned in the positioning part. That if our closest rival is also the dealer, that that's that's also a point, um, because we want to stop them from having a, a dealer streak. So, right. um, yeah, close rival being a dealer, big deal, um. And this also fixes like probably the worst weight that I have. Um, right. If I cheat this, then um, I mean once what if I don't cheat this, then this this two four is only it's winning on three three months. Yeah. So right. this is like a great opportunity for me to cheat, and then like I just you know go into Pawn City. Yeah. Um, right. Spoiler alert: I actually pass, <laughs> but I think okay. I think that was the you wrong the move. You draw um, the south. You drop three pin here, or are you dropping the Manzu block? Uh yeah, I just dropped three pin. But um, okay, but yeah, I'm like uh, you know, I now now we're now now we have a ticket to the land of seven bears. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. we also have we also have opportunities for Toy Toy now because we have five we have five callable pairs. Yeah. Thing is though that this this is a pretty weak Toy Toy because one of them is the door indicator. So right, um, right. It's not great. Yeah, I would I would definitely recommend. Cheating the three here, and then um yeah forget Not about the stuff like just yeah. like and then having having two yakai and like you said progressing the game, um this is even possible to get three Han, which is like yeah. another point like you could get two right. Yaku and then like the Dora Dora maybe even right. like I don't know maybe if you squint hard enough you get Naka or something, um probably not but right but uh, that yeah on on the one end is the Aka and the other hand is the actual Dora so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you have so, you have five <clears> chances to pick up. Yeah, so this is this is likely going to be um you know, two to three on, which is right. pretty good. Which is pretty good for like what's otherwise just like a cheap fast hand. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's really all I wanted to show. This is like a ideal a pretty ideal situation to call. But uh let's see, let's see. Uh the next one I want to talk about was I believe it was this one. Yeah, this one. All right, right off the bat, what do you, what's your feeling about this hand? Um, like, does this does this um, scream like a callable hand to you? Does this? It doesn't because the pair of nines. I mean, I could drop the pair of nines because <laughs> that eight nine nine block. I don't like that. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I mean, you could with with another good draw or two. I could be I could be convinced that this is Danyo. Yeah. Um, but this still this still could remain closed. Yeah. Um, because the the shapes are very good. Yeah, I think overall I agree. Let's see uh, how this progresses. Okay, Dora drop. Then pawn pawn from dealer. Eight mon. Do we pawn the eight mon? Let's evaluate this U using um, the same the same list we used. Right. Okay, so dealers made a move, but we have a we have a 10k lead. Um, yeah. We have a 10k lead, 15k difference. Um So, we're within dealer mongon range. Um but that doesn't look like dealer mongon anything. That that, that looks mm -hmm. like th this looks like pawn nomi maybe or I mean we don't have any other information yet, but 
right now this hand this hand doesn't scare me um it's it's early enough that that we could push and we could just drop the the nine nine um if we're looking to get Tanya and Omi yeah and shut this down yeah I I personally would not would not jump on this just yet yeah um I don't I don't feel that it ju it's justified okay well here's some points in favor of calling okay um though the wide margin here kind of gives us some leeway to actually try because if we if unless we were really convinced this guy has some manga right like we we want to make sure the dealer doesn't win that's um that should be a point in our favor and this does fix like in in a, in a way you can think of this as this fixes like a bad weight it fixes a shampoo um in our hand we could use the, the the four gets freed up maybe we get another pair somewhere um and this this hand also like otherwise this hand looks pretty solid when you think of like the tempai weight potential um you can think of like okay after you discard the after you get the eights you discard the nine pin and like you, you still have a rian man here so that's like that's at least one good weight in our hand still left and then we have this three three four five um so we do have to get rid of the nines um but this three three four five could potentially be two different blocks um do do you know like are you are you aware that like uh if you like chi the four or five with a three three four five like this like you can get two sequences right right yeah if you yeah. chi a four out of if you chi a four out of that you take the three five yeah yeah and then you're left with a three four beyond men and it's and it's great right. um or you could even like pull in the three like you know g basically tr transform pull. into yeah right and then get a beyond men out of it yeah. yeah. You know, so oh. yeah, so you can, you can, you can cheat, you mm. can cheat three, six, you can, or you could cheat three, six, four, you can pawn the three. You could even yeah. cheat the two or five, which is not as good, but, um, it's doable. You'll just be left with a four, four pin conchon, which is right. blah, not but great. if if you, if you, it, it is an option. And like, that is the, the benefit of having a callable hand and especially one with like a more complex weight like this is that you do have options rather than nothing. Right. So, um, those are those are the points in favor. Um, this this three three four five thing I think pushes this hand a little bit over the edge for mortal, um, which I checked and mortal suggests that actually this pawn is good, um, but not by a huge margin and passing the pawn is perfectly playable. Yeah. So I also passed because I see, uh, you know. <laughs> I'd like to wait and see, like, see how this uh, three, three, four, five pans out before then. All right, and then we get this, and so I'm gonna transition into a more Tanya friendly shape, just like that. Let's reevaluate this one, seven pin. All right, so now you have. You have the opportunity to cheat six eight, drop the nine. Yeah. Um. Still leaves us with that three three four five shape, although now it's a bit over blocked. Well, no, because you could drop one of the pairs at this point. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. Now you have a guaranteed Tanya. Uh, uh, Ishan ten if you pick up the right if you pick up eight mon four uh four five uh four five eight so um yeah so now this puts you into Ish yeah you're now calling into Ishan ten yeah so I would likely take this yeah and I, I agree I think I would take this yeah Ishan ten Ishan ten like coming up to the the end of the first block really good especially considering we're matching the tempo of the dealer. Um, potentially surpassing him. Um, so that's what we want. Um, there are some other considerations too. <laughs> like in terms of uh, safety, do you know the same thing? Um, we have potential to drop 8-8 Mon against the dealer. Yeah. Yeah, so if we see that like, you know, dealer gets like a Dorapone or something, 
that um we want to like if you want to like back out of that we we always have that option too um with a three pin if we keep the three pin we also have potential to like upgrade that into a beyond men some way right it's not like terribly it's not okay. terribly dangerous um or we can keep the nine pin for like an extra safe tile uh right. if we want to do that um so there's some there's just some a lot of good considerations in addition to like hey the dealer is still pushing um and the uh, the dora is gone right so yeah i i take this <clears throat> uh in this case i would um i kept the 9 but i think the 3 is actually i think the 3 is better but the the 9 i don't think is is bad here because because it is like a nice safe tile um it just means that like okay well i might have to I might have to like upgrade this for for right. slow and so like a Rian man later by luck, or right, I have to it, pull him. No, it's any call to ten pi. Yeah, right. And that's good. That's what we want. Okay, so let's keep going here. Uh yeah. So at this point, um what do you think of this five? Um not great. Um but I just saw um three mon Tadashi, so eh. And yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's it's not it's not great, but I I could I could push it. Okay. Well um I would push the nine first. Yeah, I would push the nine first. Um, knowing what I know now, right. looking at this again, I did push the five, but um, but yeah, I think that pushing the nine is better, just in case this five does get get into us into some trouble, and it can make our hand better too. So right, yeah, yeah, we actually haven't discarded anything around it that would risk fifty ten. Yeah. So yeah, you could you could drop eight eight. Yeah, mon. and the and the biggest thing though, yeah, is the eight eight mon. If we didn't have the eight eight mon, I would discard the, I would I would keep the nine. Um, right. But because we have the AA mod, just like, okay, the AA mod makes me feel nice and secure. So I don't feel like I need this 9-pin as much as the Akka. Right. Okay. Then we can get to here. Yep. Pretty simple. Increase the, increase the acceptance. And then we get to here. So what are we, what are we cutting? Um, now that we actually have the pair of sixes, it now becomes okay to cut <laughs> For so, for so. Um, although, although, why? Although, wait a minute. You could at this point push the eight eight mon um, out. Uh, although that loses the Ethan ten. Yeah, we want to be careful, right? We had um, we had four blocks here. The fifth one we completed, right? So if we discard the eight. We unblock that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that we would lose our Ethan ten. So it you might be. It might be good to just kick this back. Um, Would you? The correct answer is 6 -0. Because, um, well, first of all, 6 we know is 100% Oh, because safe. you can create this complex 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shape. Okay, it, it, yeah. it's, just, it's just really the 3, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4, I mean. Um, right. the Sozu is actually looking kind of dangerous also, besides the 6 -0. Like, lower Sozu. So, um, oh, like, this could deal in. This could deal in. Like yeah, oh, we're fighting. We're fighting the dealer. Remember, we're, we're like right, we're, I didn't, we're, yeah, I, we're I matching the dealer. <laughs> right. Okay. But then also because one six is out, that means also there's one less tile to pawn, so it's right. also more efficient to hold on to the four. Right. So this is like our consideration of we want to maximize our acceptance when we can. We also want to maximize our safety when we can, and like the six so is the safer discard at this moment. Okay. Like until we have tenpai, until we're sure like we can stop them. You know, from winning, um, and uh, and then we still, you know, even after all this, we still have the eight mon. So the eight mon is still our out, and um, that's super important. Like if we if we just discard this eight mon like willy nilly, like um, like Shimon Cha can just like call Ricci right now, and then like we're kind of screwed. So okay, so that's the play. Okay, and then we get to here. What oh, do you think? Boy. Um, 
So that's five Samagiri in a row from the dealer. Um, I'm starting to get suspicious. Yeah, that's a that's a Dora drop. You can push the other six so because you still have three three four four. You don't lose Rishan ten if yeah. you do that. That's that's possible. Yeah. Is that your move? Six so probably pro okay. probably at this point I don't see any two or five so so that like I don't see any two three four five like Sozu's the only Sozu we see are the are the six yeah that we've that so we and the dealer I just definitely started, agree so. I definitely agree that three or the four cut is a little bit too dangerous mm -hmm. um this is what I go for okay and, you're going for the that that version of it okay yeah that's yeah. also this that keeps also because that. this also keeps the Rian men. Um, okay. this, this keeps the, ship, yeah, this yeah. keeps our best weight, you know, that we still have another eight mine that's probably safe against, against that, against them. The six, so is also safe against the dealer if we, if we want to discard that later. Right. Um, and we still have two pawn candidates. So like in your version, we have, we discard the six and then the seven is just kind of floating. Right. Um, so it's, and it's then we have, way. we have, um, we have three pawn candidates, but like, um, it's not great to have like, you know, three heads. We'd rather have like two heads and a round man. At this point, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So two heads and a round man, I think, is is better. And Mortal right. agrees. Mortal agrees that about this this eight minus drop the eight eight. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, the two just came out there. Five is now dangerous again. Yeah, five but... is potentially dangerous. And then I get tempi. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, the end of this is that uh, dealer does sumo. And it is it was the four the four so so our intuition was correct. Um, but yeah, I was able to safely get into Tempai because of the maneuvering that we did, making sure we keep Ishantan, have reasonable safety in our hand, um, and um, and also just like keeping five blocks, keeping five blocks, and maybe like if we, if we think our hand isn't safe enough, then we keep a keep a safe tile. Okay, I have uh, I have one more example. Let's see. Got a hand here. This is a pretty interesting hand. I end up keeping the Haku here. I'm not sure if Mortal agrees with that, but I do. And then we run into this. So let's evaluate this 3M pawn. Do we take it? Oh boy. Um... Nine eight mon likely safe against the dealer. Well, nine is completely safe, eight is likely safe. Yeah. Um, so we do have a way out of that. We are holding a dangerous a dangerous Dora. We have seen it once cut. Um Well, we could also just discard it right away. We could, you... we could also just send that, yeah. We yeah. could also we could also just send that. So if you call this your your discards are either nine mon or the Haku. Yeah. Um and at that point, you're. Yeah, I mean, it's go it, it's going to have to leave anyway. Okay, but think um, about let's think about the weights in our hand as well. Like the shape of our hand is this an ideal shape for calling? It's not great. Um, you've got this two two three four 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 shape. It's close to the edge, and so if we're going to force a Tanya, we don't we don't want the one. Sure. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a complex enough shape that you can call off part of it and leave good weights, though. So, um, but you don't have five defined blocks. If that you drop true. the eight nine or you drop the haku, you don't have eight. You don't have five defined blocks anymore. You have, you have the threes, the fives, the two, two, three, four, four, four is two shapes, essentially. Yeah. Um, and. It's like too close to each other with a, with a one on one end, so it's not it's not going to be great. Okay, so you think this shape is just not good for calling? Is that a, is that point my yeah, point for calling? I I think I'm a little yeah I think I'm a little wary about calling this because of the the chance that I might pick up. We have to drop the eight nine penchon if we're trying to force Tanya. We have to drop the eight nine penchon. We have to drop the Haku. Uh, we've got a we've got a potential one we could pick up. Um, I I don't like this. Okay. We have Adora, so 
as far as value is concerned, yeah, we can get Tiny Dora one. There's maybe a toy toy in the future. Um, but I I don't like this call. Okay. I don't like it. Okay. Let's make that a little bit more concrete. So given like the list of stuff, list of like good things mm-hmm. about calling, right? What does this match up with and what does this not match up with for like positioning for um so all that stuff. Yeah. Right. So right, it's e- it's east one, so there's no point difference. Um Okay, that's a so plus that's one. Really, yeah. Right. Um we if we call, we're not gonna have five blocks. That's okay. a bit of a problem. Yeah. That's a that's a negative. Um it does it does fix a shape that's unlikely to improve. Yeah. Um it does um we do have two safe tiles against the dealer here, the eight nine. Um we're at the end of the first row, so we should you know, we would we would consider pushing this in order to get get this hand moving. Yeah. Um so the there there's a little bit of an X factor with that Haku. And yeah. I don't know what to make I don't know what to make of that. If you could if you could explain a little bit what your thoughts are. Um the Haku um well it could be something. I mean it it it, it 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 could. Or it could just be like, I don't know, you just you discard it, maybe someone else discards it and gets right. a safe tile. Yeah, because everybody's just, holding one of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh it's not a huge part of my consideration. It's just like, hey, if I get really lucky, then maybe I could draw it. Um but well, generally, um like does your does your evaluation of the lists push you more in one direction or the other compared to like your intuitive feelings? I mean, because I think I think overall, um, the shape of it, you know, the, the big thing that um, I think you need to get used to is fixing the shape, right? This three mon, this three mon triplet, yeah, that that's a that's that is a huge point in consideration of actually calling this is is being able to fix that otherwise bad shape. Okay. So that is, and and then and then the points being like so close, also. Right, um, it's east one. So. Yeah, east one generally a good time to call. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. So, um, what's your final feeling about this? Pass. If pass I, it on. Like my my gut my gut check would my gut check would pass this. Yeah. Um in a different in a different point situation if I were behind I would push it. Okay. Um So, like that's that's kind of where I feel like I I am not in a hurry to call this an east one. If I if I'm behind, yeah, I'll 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 push this. Okay. So here's the thing about this hand. This 8 9 mon is trash because it's already one cut. The 7 mon's already one cut. Right. I actually don't have a strong consideration that this hand is going to complete at all, unless we call. Okay. Um, especially, especially again, like one of the, you know, one of our triplet outs is gone, right? And then, like, you know, well, we have we we would have pawn candidates. We'd have we could pawn the two. We could even pawn the four, um, so, or the five, the five mons. So there are ways to complete this hand open, um, and I think that's that's the biggest thing. Um, th- that's the biggest thing, uh, for me, for, in my consideration, um, that pushes me more towards calling this. If this eight mon, if this eight, 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 nine, if this eight, nine mon was like a little bit better or something, I don't know, maybe, um, but, uh, it's, it's hard to say, but, but especially like completing like a triplet in like a triplet heavy hand and then, um, and then getting an excuse to like get rid of the worst weight in my hand which I wasn't going to use anyway probably right um i think is and then you know potentially you know holding on to this haku too 
Um, maybe something can happen with that. I think all that put together makes this um, makes this a, a good call. And uh, Mortal does agree with this. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's 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 mostly because of this seven mon, um, this eight nine mon just like being so terrible here, along with a three five. Yeah, we want to complete that. <coughs> so yeah, and then we this this oh shape is complex enough where we can accept stuff like this, and then um, I'm just holding onto the Zora. Right. And then and then this happens. Hey, so it doesn't look so bad. We're now we're in Ishanted. <laughs> right. Yeah. But let's uh, let's keep going. Because now we get this. Okay, now we get a Richie. We have a safe push. Yeah. Um, what's our evaluation of the safety of our hand too? Um, especially now that we're going, we're at the end of the second row now, the third row. Um. Against that Ricci, it doesn't look great. Um, sure. We we don't have any strictly safe tiles. Yeah. Or well, or let's, outside or outside Suji. Let's rewind time a bit to like around here. All right, before before even they call Ricci, like just like to anyone. Yeah. But, yeah. But even before we see the Ricci, um, we don't we don't have a lot of ways to back down from this. I mean, yeah, we don't against have any. Anybody. We don't have any Genbutsu for sure. Right against anybody. <laughs> that said, we do have this uh, this triple three pin. Your two pin, yeah. And uh, two pin, yeah, the triple two pin, and it's uh, it's blocked by a one chance. Right, we we control the fours and we see we see two of the ones. Yeah, yeah, and this three is like you know you could think of it as like a almost like a double one chance, like especially with right. the Suji here, like um. So that is a potential way out. Yeah, the twos and threes are actually like, are I think they're safe enough that you could still, you know, you could still call this hand, and um, consider it safe enough for us to to chance chance here, especially since we're so close to ten by two. Right. Okay, and then we get this. Uh. Hmm. Looking at that, Ricci, um, okay, we've seen, we've seen eight Suji from them, so this might, this might become a little, uh, too dangerous to push. And we could yeah. Drop, we could drop two, two pin. Um, maybe. let's three see. Three. Yeah, the three was dropped before. If we drop the so actually I actually did push the four. four. You pushed um, it, okay. but I, I think it was a I think it was the wrong move. Though. It's a margin. It's like a marginal push. Yeah. yeah. So um, but yeah, I think uh, the three pin is the best here though, because um, it's it's we still it's still blocked ten, yeah. by the fours, and then yeah, we still keep our Ishan ten. The twos aren't even like technically safe, so um, right. you know, yeah. like we do have a lot more of them, so that that'd be nice if it passes, but. I would rather keep our our chances of um, potentially getting a, a ten by here, right? And sneaking away with with some with some points at the end. Yeah. So in a, in a perfect world, I would discard this three and keep the four. Right. But uh, but uh, well, we do know the seven stones Suji now, so there's something. I love it when you send a discard and then the uh, the person in Ricci <clears throat> discards it immediately after. Like, yes, <laughs> your choice is, your choice is <laughs> yeah. validated, like, retroactively. Um, yeah. Tenpai. Um, yeah. If we discard the five or six, it's Tenpai. Okay. Uh, I mean, the five's the safer choice. Vaguely. It's, it's, it's so close as to not matter. Yeah. Um this if we discard the six, we're waiting on an Entotsu basically with uh right. two and five pin and five mon. Right. Um turns I don't out even care, I don't even care about the weight here. We've got one more draw, so like Yeah. yeah well like, it's just it's just um Mortal likes the six mon because I think the six they're both half Suji and then but the five mon we, we know where two of them are. 
as opposed to right. like you know one of them yeah this the, okay. the six mon yeah so but but I, I choose the four seven and then uh I deal into a Suji too so <laughs> that was unfortunate but um mortal mortal's okay with this push so yeah just just in general for that game though <clears throat> right the key thing about that was this this shape here where we could fix what's yeah, otherwise shape, a bad weight and then the like get rid so of bad yeah and then get rid of one of our other weights like um if our future doesn't look good in mensen maybe you saw more potential in in, in the mensen side than than i did but i just don't see it with the seven mon cut and the penchon so i just i'd rather just discard the eights and nines potentially get more uh options down the road got it along with a decently safe two two three pin that I could discard later. So, um, that about covers it for the examples I have. So I'll just uh, now go into your game and see how we can evaluate that now with fresh eyes. Um, this is the first like point of interest I want to talk about. Uh, this is right. this is more minor, I guess. Not really. I it's not really related to calling, kinda. But you discard the the one so here, but this nine. nine Nine is probably a better nine month probably yeah. a better drop. Yeah, because the, yeah, the, the Ryan Khan is good. And then also this is the Ryan Khan connected to Ryan Men potential if you get the two so and then five six six. And if you're going to discard one of the Ryan Khan, you discard this one. So you clarify the Dora. Right? So really minor, but Yeah. Okay. Um <laughs> did we want to chi this? Is this a chi? I guess we'll we'll talk about this one. I mean, it's not great, mm -hmm. but we still have the nine mon that we hanging out that we could discard that won't be useful. Let's take all. We have the one. We have the one three five. Yeah, we have the one three five shape that we would have to force that we would have to coerce into a three five at that point. Yeah. Um. So that's not that's not good. Um. We have. Uh, we are in the lead by, by a bit. Um, so we don't have a lot of, I mean, we're in first, but not by much and it's early, so sure. not a lot of incentive to get overly aggressive. Um, end of, end of row one, uh, still enough time that we could, we could drop the nine of the one mon and coerce the Sinua Tanya. Mm -hmm. Although, um, the, sh the shapes are still good enough that that I'm willing to hold out. Yeah. Um, I think implied in your reasoning was just like, our other weights are pretty bad once we call. And then yeah. also, this is our best weight. This is our only around then. Um, like by right. far, this is our best weight, six, six, seven. So right. we don't want to call that. We want, we would rather have that be uncalled so we could have that intent by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're, it's a good skip. Then we see a bunch of other stuff. <clears throat> what about now? Now we still have the one three five mon block we have we'd have to coerce. But again, I don't like the okay. The the the, the situation is different now. So let's right. let's take into consideration yeah. the positioning and the the timing and the the shape. Okay. We're still we're still too, we're still beyond Chan Ten. Um, but now we've got this three five six 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 going on, which upgrades way more easily. Um, calling this leaves a, a floating six pin. And basically forces us to drop the one money either now or at some point in the future. Yep. It's not fixing a bad weight though. But with we've now seen two of the fives, two of the eights go by. Um, if we wait much longer, we're not gonna have any more weights. Yeah. So yeah, I could I could take this and drop either the six pin or the one mon at this point. Is that your answer? 
Yeah. Well, that's actually what you did, um, which Mortal actually agrees with, but like barely. <laughs> it's um, it, the thing is, yeah, the the biggest thing was that this weight is no longer as good as it was because so many that's, fives and eights have just that's been what discarded. I, that's what yeah. I was. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm like my my live weights are disappearing quickly on this shape. Yeah, and that's good awareness. Like we want to always be aware of the weights we can um, become bad and that we could still fix with the chi or pawn. So this is this is actually good chi. This is actually good chi, and um, like even even though it's like uh, the hand is still kind of lacking, um, it's still workable, and we're in a position where you know we we still would like to win and progress the game if possible, and and remain Ishan ten. Right. Okay. Now now what? We got the six so <laughs> do we con? I mean, did I hit the button at this point? Yeah, you did. The fuck was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the Excuse better me. move to make in Excuse this situation? Excuse my French. You might pwn and drop six pin. Um, you'd pwn or, or, or three. I mean, you could. Like, I'm, I'm not saying I would. Okay. I'm saying I'm saying if somebody did it, I wouldn't ask questions. Okay. Um, I wouldn't. You wouldn't um, pwn. You'd but, pass. But it doesn't. It doesn't actually. It doesn't actually help us. Actually, it it kind of does. Because, well, I mean, the con here is 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 bad. We we don't have to talk about that. But if right. imagine if we had an extra six right in our hand, we did we discard the three, and now we have a triplet of sixes with a five right. six shape. We had five. We have five six 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 six. So we right. we'd upgrade this into our beyond men, which is pretty good. Which is better. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the correct call would be pawn and drop the. Yeah. Three yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So we we do want to like um as you get this is why like you know you need to build more experience with calling because like right. you you only you're only going to see these like potential calls if you're used to looking at these shapes and thinking about like if I chi or pawn what's going to happen to my hand is going to be better um than it was before. And in this case it it is if you pawn it. <clears throat> Come. Um the con here, yeah, duh. don't <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, not a thing, in but in my defense, I woke up from a nap, realized I needed to play a game for you, and then I did. Um, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I completely Great. understandable. I mean, like, I, I, I think this is it's just low hanging fruit. Just you know, you'll 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 be okay. Brain off, son. So, okay. Son, One son thing man. though, are you yeah. okay with keeping, like, just after this, right after our con? Right. Does our evaluation of the ch of the hand change at all? Um, not particularly. I still have two bad weights. Okay. Um, and now one of them is actually deader than dead because of the three five shape now can no longer upgrade. Sure. Yeah. Meaningfully. Three, sure. Five, when we're looking no at this, when yeah. we're looking at the shape of our hand, that's um, you are right. Nothing really has changed. But right. what about some other considerations that we? want to make for an open hand we're the only open hand and we've just added another dora that we can only see one of yeah and that also means anyone else can reach it and get two con you know the con conra right. and then yeah like that's right that was yes the, the, so the list of reasons this was a bad move yeah <laughs> yeah 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 but i want to i want to emphasize okay the con obviously a mistake but we're here now and we're in a position now where Things are even more dangerous than they were a few turns ago. Right. So now, so now I need to consider getting out of here. Now we need to consider keeping this chun and discarding right. this six. Discarding the six because that's safer now. Yeah. It discard it now before anyone calls Richie and then we're we're screwed. Mm -hmm. And then keeping the chun, hoping that you know they're not waiting on like the last the last two. So. Okay, and then maybe we can like get a safer tile, you know, along the way as well. Uh, we we still want to keep Tempai because um, that's our best chance of getting out of here is just winning, uh, especially after the con. Like, if you if you if you con at all, you know, you might as like, well bro, take it, take yeah. it all, take it to the bank. <clears throat> but yeah, like this eight so this eight so would be amazing to have two cut a Kabe, like a yeah the. The concept of keeping a safe tile is something like 
I heard and never really understood until you've introduced me to like this slew of examples. Yeah. Um, it was just something that never entered my brain. Like I have a bias toward just Tuma gearing <laughs> if it's safe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's just it's uh the most important thing about um keeping a safe tile is the timing part. We're in the second row of discards. We're in the latter half of that second row. We want to keep this eight. We don't want to keep this six. Right, because now we have bad weights. Yeah, we we've, we've, well, we've put ourselves in a position where yeah. we have bad weights. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. And on top of like n none of these tiles look particularly safe either. Um, right. just on the on the face of it. So. Right. But yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's see. Is there anything else interesting about this? Kind of don't remember. I don't think there was actually. I think it was like, it was like okay, we con, they reached, and then like, yeah, we managed to get away. Noted. But um, yeah. Don't con. Don't con. <laughs> and keep the safe tile. Keep the safe tile. Um, yeah. if we're in a, if we know we're in a dangerous position, keep the safe tile. Okay. Okay, this one. You made a couple very minor mistakes here. This is the Dora indicator, so we would rather keep that one, right? Again, bias towards Sumo Gear. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Should have just dropped the West. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you dropped the Chun here, the one cut Yakuhai, instead Except of the Guest Winds. Yeah. Yeah. The Guest Winds are still not as good as the one cut Yakuhai. Right. But, uh, you know, we're. We do. We are getting, like, close to, like, a. Chi Better toy shape. potential hand, maybe, or right, or something. Okay. I should have dropped the west there. Yeah. What about the pawn? What about this pawn? Do we pawn the um, east? Um. This is tough. This is tough because now it's uh, dealer. Dealer has already called. Dealer has already called and confirmed Yaku. Um, we have good enough shapes to justify it. We have a bunch of pawns to justify it. We are in the lead, and we should we should probably get this guy off dealer. Yeah. Um. So pawn cut west is probably the move. Yeah. So this is this is this is Chitoi Ishanten though. Um, yeah. Does that change right. your opinion at, at all, or or we're we gonna pawn? <laughs> um. Uh, do you believe in Chitoi Ishanten? I, I believe in I believe in Chitoy very, very hard. Um yeah. back when I was learning Mahjong about four years ago, um I was so into Chitoy that a series of memes popped up on, on at least two Discord servers I was in <laughs> uh, about my propensity for Chitoy. Um and several several Armel clips were made of so it's like several Twitch clips were made uh from my Armel games of uh Chris's Chitoy brain kicks in. Uh so <laughs> with that in mind, um I'm okay with the call because we have that three three four four so shape which can upgrade in different ways. Yeah, yeah. That I think is the that, real that kicker. Tilts it. That tilts yeah. it in favor and if we if we didn't have a potential Riamen call here, like maybe right. maybe we don't take this. But right, the but you have this this you have definitely puts it over the edge and like this makes it this makes our hand much more reliable to complete, even though we're technically stepping back in Shantan. Um right. but you don't go for it. <laughs> So yeah, but this is that that would be a great east call, a great east right. call to like get a much more flexible Ryan Shanten into a probably most likely better um, ten pi weight. Yeah, right. Especially because somebody's probably also going to cut the pay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so you know, either either or, you know, we're probably going to wait on like the two mon or like the pay or maybe two five so. Right. So like, there's there's a lot of good futures. But anyway, um, you, you do take this. How am I holding onto this West for like, in, <laughs> like, like, what the fuck was I doing yesterday? Uh, this is this is your this is your um, your your, your Tonki. This is your Tonki. <laughs> Shot Tonki. <laughs> the yeah. uh, this the sun pair Tonki. Maybe that's what was going on in my head. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, um, would be funny. Yeah. I think the rest of this the sand wasn't that interesting actually. So, but um. Right. But yeah, the 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 pawn to like get a more flexible calling hand instead of, and then also challenging the dealer. Yeah, that's that's challenging the dealer while we're in first is pretty good with a fast hand, a fast and right. safe hand. Yeah, we could even fold with a pay. Right. So that was right. pretty. So I could, right. 
Oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you pwn here. Okay, let's let's think about this though. Yeah. So I get slapped in the face. Now I'm in second, and now I'm looking at this, going, I need to take this guy off dealer. That's what's going through my. I, I will tell you that is what's going through my brain right now. I think that's pretty good reasoning. Um, my yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. So so from here, I'm like, okay, I want to take this guy off dealer. My shapes are not great. Um, but I confer. I confirm Yaku. I have this potential two, three, four Sanchoku thing going on. It's it's very far away. I have another pair in the hand. I have that seven, seven, eight shape, so that's another pair. I'm holding a Dora, which uh, I very often don't know what to do with a disconnected Dora like this when I start calling. Um. So one one trick you can think about is like, especially since you have a seven, seven, eight here, you could call this seven, seven, eight, and then Dora Tonki, and hmm. then you and then you have a three Han hand. Like anytime, right. any anytime you have like a Yakuhai plus like Dora, like you could you could always just go for Doran Taki for three Han. Got it. Um, or you you know you could also just connect with it. I mean, or discard it. Like it's it. Like the thing is, right. just you you never know how your hand is gonna flesh out. Mm -hmm. Um, especially when you open. Um, but that's that's the kind of beauty of it that like it could go in um, lots of different directions. And, right. If um, you have the right, if you have good shapes, you can. You can go in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, if you if you get a pair, like immediately, that's just like you're winning, you know. Right. So. That's value. That's value enough. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, the Dora implies that this hand could have value. Maybe it doesn't. I mean, I mean, maybe it won't. Right. Maybe you'll have to discard the Dora and get a one hand, hand, and that's that's still fine in this situation because you're getting you're getting some points off your closest rival, and they're in the dealer seat, and right. That is honestly enough. And you have five blocks. Like, um... Yeah, this is blocked enough to to call. <laughs> yeah. So, I agree. Even though it's turn one, I, I definitely agree with the poem here. This, this hand has a lot of potential in a number of ways. And then what do you know? And then we draw Dora Tonki. We draw, yeah. we draw the Dora, pair it up. Yeah. Now I get rid of the 2-4 because I'm looking for better weights. And I don't like the Kanchan. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Why are I'm you looking? The, for... <laughs> I'm giving Why? up the Sanchoku because we have the we have the the value now. Do you need better weights at this point? Um, we have three Rianmen. Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think. I... Um, I think uh, you you need to build that sense of like. Eric pointed this out to me. Eric is like. Eric Eric is like you would take a Kanchan to your grave before you call it. <laughs> <laughs> like he told me that he's like, he he's he's like looking at me he's he's like you would you if you see a hand with a conchon like he's like i feel this like energy coming off of you where you want to take the mahjong table and flip it um mm -hmm. like i don't like holding on to them i want them out and so like i think the i i think i've been efficiency pilled uh, mm -hmm. and then i didn't even see it i'm like wait a minute i have this conchon but the rest of my hand is fine why do i care I think uh, you might yeah. be just be misreading your open hands because there's less tiles. You might be thinking that you still need five blocks, even though you still have a haku. You know, maybe that that might be that might be it. Because like you you had a you made a similar mistake earlier where like right. you discard you you would have discarded like a your your essentially fifth block, um, but like because because one of our blocks is to the side, that means we have to in our brain we have to recalibrate a little right. bit of like. Exactly what we're looking at. This is this is like nearly perfect Ishanten or round Shanten. Um, so right, but yeah, why am I doing? Yeah, why am I so eager to get rid of a Kanchan? It's perfectly okay to hold on to it. Yeah, well, um, it's you'd still want to keep five blocks. Remember five block theory. This right. seven, honestly, like this two so, this two so is perfectly fine. Like maybe we draw the red five even. So like this could still yeah. be great. Um, right. but that said, keep in mind this is still a completely like unnecessary tile. Otherwise, right? It's floating. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, mortal even suggests discarding the four now and keeping the seven. Okay. Rather than rather than like holding on to the more dangerous four. Right. Because the hand is otherwise just all so good already. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Two Dora. You could pawn. Complex round then. All right, Chi. G9? Uh, 
it does advance the shantan. Yeah. So, and we have two two Rian. We have it leaves us with a pair of uh, two Rianman weights. So why not? I should have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you did not, but uh, yeah, you should have. <laughs> um, it's just like okay, we're early, right? We wanna, and we have we have great weights. So all that we just want to speed up this hand as fast as possible before we get um, into trouble. And especially since like our like okay. We don't have safety, right? But right. we do and have speed. We do have speed, and we have a pair of Dora. So <clears throat> yeah. So get get cash this in. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. If we don't have safety, go for speed. And if you don't have speed, then go for safety. You know, because right. like you want to have some balance of 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 them. But like, if you have to go to one extreme, go for one extreme. Right, but we could be Shantan after four discards, mm -hmm. and then yeah, we could be Shantan after four discards with two Dora. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. The logic pretty, there. pretty okay. good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, also this this um, this con. I con. I con because I play too much Sanma. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. It's, we're we're not Ishanten, so don't bother calling that. Well, what's the move then? If you're not gonna con, Sumagiri. I mean, drop the Forso. Drop the Forso. Yeah. Drop the exactly. Forso con later. Exactly. Yeah. And then, and then, like, um, this also gives us a safe tile as well. Right. No one's going for Koshi, so this is right. a completely safe tile. Right. Right. I'm not up against Quincy here. Um, <laughs> and then All I right. draw this, and I get really fucking confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because now this is our sixth block here right. with the and white, brain, but it looks like five brain, blocks. Right. Right. My brain turns off when I call the con, and then I draw this tile, and I completely short circuit. Yeah, we the move should still be to get rid of them. Yeah, <laughs> which is the not what happens. Which but... is not what I do because I'm. Oh my god, it's because okay. My, it's you okay. know what I was thinking. I'm thinking pawn is better than chi. So like. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I get what you're thinking, but five blocks are still better than six. Right. Yes. And Rian Man is still really fucking good. So right. we want to keep that as much as possible. Um. Yeah. I hate me sometimes. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. You'll, you'll it'll get it'll be better. So I should have just dropped the four four. So at that point, I like. Well, yeah. Well, that happens to the best of us. You know, Melissa also lost that that Samo. Just yeah. Just I I wasn't watching that second game. I was just watching. Uh, I was watching Max break my heart. All right. Um, now we got some interesting stuff. Now we can pivot this again. Yeah. So how are we going to pivot? Is the question. Drop the god. Four so or we drop seven seven so and now we have or seven seven mon and now we have that that four four five shape. Yeah, so which which way are we going? Four, four or seven. Se uh, drop the seven mons. Okay. Um I'm kinda torn on this. I think I think Mortal actually prefers discarding the four because it clarifies the Zora and gives us a mon gun. And then also right. the four is like it could be pretty dangerous down the road in, in comparison to pushing two sevens. You know, right. if someone calls Rigi right now. Right. Um, I mean, that said, you know, it's still five blocks. I don't think it's a bad move to have the four, four, five. Um, but that is but, something we have to consider. Just like, right. Hey, hey, we we do we do have a con on the board, and <laughs> so we have made it more dangerous for ourselves. Right. And yes. yeah. So we and and also it's the east. <laughs> it's, it's 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 the east uh, is the new Dora. So. Um, this, right, and this we have one's this so suspicious. Pawn. Yeah, we have that suspicious pawn over there. Like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, maybe we're actually in serious danger. <laughs> maybe yeah, we're, we're in, in serious yeah. danger as a, as a called player with with no haku to to with discard. No safe, yeah, yeah, no safety. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah, moral moral does like the the clarifying of the of the Ryaman here. My brain turns off again. I discard the seven one. Uh, it's it's yeah. fine. It's fine. The seven mon, I think, is is fine, but you know, AI will say, is, oh, and I will say still that this this is right, better, but like not by a huge margin. It's not a blunder, is is what I'm trying to say. Right. Okay, nothing here. <coughs> and then we get to here. Now we're in trouble. Now we we're in trouble. Yeah, we slowed down. We didn't chi. Um, right. We have this kind of dangerous forso we need right. to discard. 
going to start a Genbutsu. Eight Mon, three pin. Now, pawn or no? <coughs> uh, pawn because the Aka 5 is actually safe. Yeah. I should, yeah. But yeah, pawn and either drop the 5 or the 5, five so or 8 Mon. I should. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, at this point, right? I mean, uh, safety, not a concern of ours when we have two Dora. And we actually still have Genbutsu here, Genbutsu here. Let's go for it. Yeah. Uh, right. You pass, but um, let's just say you yeah. went for it, right? And then, like, oh, we're in Yishantan. Yeah, that'd be great. Right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, seeing the clear path to Tenpai, that's, um, I'm sure if, if you were a little bit more awake, you would have saw that. Yeah. Um, but now we have the three mon now, and then this happens. <laughs> All right, what are we thinking? Do we do it? Pawn the eight pin. I mean, do we pawn eight pin cut five? So it doesn't really matter to us. It doesn't. It doesn't change the value of our hand. It doesn't. Does it actually advance? It doesn't even advance the hand. It does advance the hand. It does. This is oh, beyond right, Shanten okay. still. Okay. Yeah, this would be e Shanten if we did. Right. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it, would, it, it, it would guarantee a Mangan as well. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. would pawn. You'd pawn and discard five so. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Thing is, though, we're up against three potentially very dangerous players right now, and uh, this red five was safe against this person, not confirmed safe against the other two. Um, right. I mean, maybe, maybe even if you did exclude the dealer, right? This is still an Aka five against Somebody potential four Dora, them. you know, four Dora chances right. on the Ricci. This is a very dangerous cut push. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then on top of that, we're not even in Tenpai. We still have to discard either the three or the four, neither of which are confirmed safe. Right. So because of that, like the route is just like a little bit too dangerous. Um, like I would like, you know, my notes is just like, hold on. So I have like plus one for Ishanten, plus one for Mangan, minus two for extremely dangerous pushing, like pushing two tiles even. And then, um, also no fold potential if like it doesn't work. Right. So. Yeah, we have no way out now. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're committing to an Ishanten hand and at least it's Mangan, but it's, it's not going to be a Mangan if, if it's Ishanten. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right. Still, though, actually, um, Mortal says this is, like, playable still to pawn. Um, because, like, at, at the very least, this is still safe against one person. Uh, and we have a Mangan. Can't argue with that, right? Um, but uh, Mortal does also prefer passing by a significant okay. margin. Yeah. Which is not what we do. And then we just got in the, the, the red five, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you were just. Did my brain uh, just. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you're, you're just asleep, man. You're just asleep. Like, we all knew what you were trying to do. Yeah. Uh, um, but unfortunately, uh, this is the future we live in. Oh, because. And... Oh, because I'm seeing. I'm seeing the five so isn't safe against the other people, and I say, okay, three three pin is safe against two of them. But also now I'm still not a shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of defeated the point of pointing this at all. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So protect protect our shot ten is is the is the moral of the story here. <laughs> right. Like, be very very careful because now now we're in an awful position. Right. Um. Which uh. I think. Okay. Some shenanigans. <laughs> we got out alive at the very least. But that four would have been dangerous to push. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, no Condora. Nothing. No Ura at all. <laughs> that was a funny. That was a funny hand. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to go through this. I'm sorry. You no, had I mean to... like having having somebody having somebody review my hands like like this <laughs> is is like uh, you know somebody showing up 15 minutes early to a party. And I'm like, I'm sorry you get to see my house looking like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, I'm sure. You don't once... tell other people my house looks like this. <laughs> no, no, for sure not. I mean, like, Dan Lee's going right. to come around. You're going to fix all this up. Right. I know. I know you. I know you're going to do hand, it. 
this hand is Ishan 10, and I'm like, what if I just draw another tile by conning? That seven is completely disconnected from everything else, so my brain yeah. just turns off in cons. So you're in luck that Mortal actually thinks this is not a bad con. In fact, Mortal actually prefers this con over not. Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's disconnected from everything else and where you shunt him. Yeah, that's, just that's right said, that said, I would still, personally, I would keep it because... Uh, cut the one so? I would cut the one so because the 2-4 pin is, like, weak. And right. so the extra seven, I'm thinking of the extra seven as, like, a potential floating tile that we could use okay, for that... another block. Right. Um, rather than thinking of it as a con right away, I'm thinking, like, maybe this seven will be useful still. Right. Um, but that said, you know, the con isn't bad. Um, what would you do here? Uh, keeping the 788 block doesn't... No, it does. The problem is if I keep it, where's actually... Like, like does... Where's my pair? Hmm. I could keep this and, like, discard three so? Or four so? No, discard three so, because then you... Holy crap. Um, If you take this and di discard three so, you lock in a pair. Yeah. Um, If you take this and discard one so, you now don't have a clear pair. And and not all of your upgrades bring you to like you're still mm. like not all of your upgrades actually bring you to ten pi. Sure. Like I'm looking at this confused, going if I do that, if I keep this tile, where's my pair? Okay. So like I'll immediate, just... immediately, my reaction is, what am I doing about this? Okay. So I'll just say that the correct answer is to discard the one so. Um, okay. There are a couple reasons for this. One is that this this Epego shape is really nice, and like the one is disqualifying us from Tanyao, so you know. Right. And then also it could disqualify us from Pinfu as well. So um, well, we're, we're not Pinfu anything right now. We call. Oh Tanya. yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah, yeah. But it, 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 the Tanya thing, yeah, Tanya. Right, right. So two five, pretty good, pretty good weight, potential Epego. We want to keep right. the. Um, right. like it, between like two hands that have like pretty similar acceptance, we want to keep the the ones that have slightly more value. Right. And then the upgrade I think you missed was after we discard the one, keep the seven eight eight. If we get a two or four pin and make that our pair instead, then we have perfect Ishan ten with an Epeko shape. Okay. Yeah. So this seven eight eight. Like potentially making this into a Rianmen or a pair frees up the two four to also become a pair potentially. In addition to like, hey, we get a we get the the five pin, and now we have Rianmen. You know, in, in addition to right. normal stuff like that. Right. Okay. So the <clears> one should go here almost immediately. Yeah, the one should be. Yeah, I think the next best thing is maybe maybe the eight, but like no, then I not not really. See, yeah, you, you see, get I'm, rid of the. I'm kind of thinking of the eights as my pair. If I squint a little bit, I see the. No, one, I two, think three, four, yeah, four, I think four, I think yeah. uh, maybe the three so is fine because it, it still has the same thing as like, but like, well, okay. it's just like in the difference here there is that like if you draw um, a two or four pin right, then you have two 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 like two two pin and then like four four so shanpon, which is not great. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, in, okay, so in, one, in comparison one, to having a Rian men. Yeah, right. Okay, so one so should be the discard here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the key, the key thing here is also just, um, the, this shape is just really good. This shape is just really, really good. And like, you know, it's so good. Like we're not going to cheat this, right? This is right. pretty obvious, right? We're not going to cheat that. Right. Um, I don't think you need to keep the one. So at all, I think we'd rather just keep right, the Tanya E Pico and then like find another block to replace this if we can. Figure and it so, out, yeah. and so that's why. Um, right, keep I would suggest keeping the the floater. Yeah, right. Because otherwise, we're just kind of stuck waiting for like a three or a five pin, like desperately. Yeah, I don't know what I was holding on to that for. Yeah, but you know, it's it's gonna keep going on. Okay, do we cheat now? I mean, now you could cheat and cut the one in your ten pie, but it's Tanya no me. Yeah. Tanya know me with a con, with a pretty con sad. <laughs> and yeah. a con, yeah. Right. 
So, no? Yes or no? No. No. Not a good idea. I think I agree. Yeah, any of these styles could have you know, helped us a yeah, little bit. Yeah, the, the, the long list of regret. Um, hmm? I said that that whole first row is a that whole first discard row is a long list of regret. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. It's just a it's little just un a list, real yeah, unfortunate list, there. Yeah, li list of reasons I should have been ten pi by now. <laughs> um, uh, this is the kind of thing that gets me. That gets me. Okay. And then the silver room con classic, the silver right, room con the, coming out. Silver room diamond con. Uh, otherwise, yeah, com comes from the Japanese die meaning big and mincon meaning mistake. <laughs> um, the two five weights are now uh. the two and five weights are now going rapidly, and I noticed that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now do we chi? Now this should be a chi drop the one. Okay, and give me your reasoning. Uh, it gets us to it gets us the ten pi fixes the bad shape. <laughs> Um, our other weights are disappearing rapidly, so we better start moving if we want to catch the two five. Yeah. Um, and anything else? Um, uh, I mean that con just confuses me, but also. Well, yeah, remember sure. what does what does a con do? Like if we con right and then open our hand, right. like what does the con change? Very little about our value. <laughs> sure, right, about yeah, our like, value. Right, but it also makes closed hands more dangerous. Yeah. And potentially, uh, you know, just like any open hand with potential more Dora also, as well, mm -hmm. that we don't see. Right. It escalates all the value going on. <laughs> and it, yeah. Especially if we can't see any of the Dora, which is what we're having right now. We can't see a lot of Dora. So what I mean to say is, like... Get moving before this becomes a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So... That's uh, yeah. that's the speed consideration. The other right. side of that coin is things are dangerous. We want to either be fast or we want to be what? We want we want to be fast or we want to be safe. Yeah, we don't have to, we don't have safe, so we need fast. E I think this is actually not too bad in terms of safety if we call, which which pushes us I mean, way over. If we call, the edge. we're fine. If we call, we're fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying like we don't have safety if we continue to sit around. Well, I'm. I mean, I guess that's true. I mean, we, but you have Genbutsu. I mean, just you have four four pin two so yeah. You have a eight mon here, one one two so two so is Okabe, right? That's that's really nice. So, I mean, but that that we don't. The thing is, like, ver the closed version of this hand versus the open version of this hand, like the two four pin aren't that safe anyway. So we're not really getting rid of our safety net. You know, we're not right. getting rid of our defensive tools in order to open up this hand, which is a huge consideration that, like, we can call this two, this, uh, this three pin and still have, like, the most safe tiles in our hand in case someone else, in case dealer reaches with. Right. We still have, we still have the eight. Triple, the two, triple, so. yeah, Dora, or yeah. Dora chance. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we would take this. This is, this is a definite cheat. Uh, which right. you do not do, but you will definitely do next time. Yeah, so that's fine. Why did I, why, why did I not? <laughs> you you okay. want the condor? I I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It... Fun. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm looking up there, going, "What is going on?" Uh, yeah. This is. It doesn't even look like a honey. So it looks like that person's confused about how to play the game. Um. He's a he's a South. He's a yeah. Yaku. Yeah, I guess. Senpai. Did I reach you this like an idiot? No, no I don't. You did not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Richie on the last last two three mid, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. is three trip triple Ura chance. You know, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Right. Uh but yeah, having having Again, this is pretty good. Okay, do we do we push this? Uh, we, we shouldn't, but we do. We we shouldn't, but we do. Uh, uh, yeah, you remember pushing this? Yeah, this yeah, is awful. Could, this is this is we, such a bad push. This, <laughs> this is so bad. This is gross. Yeah, <laughs> this is like the most dangerous tile on the board. <laughs> um, right, but yeah, just uh, 
just you know, okay. by, by my count, this is like fourteen Suji uh, yeah, cut, just, just, including just Mikabe. Cut the, yeah, so just, just just cut two pin. Yeah. Uh, it, you lived though. You lived by some miracle. And then two mines safe. Fun. <laughs> and then um. <laughs> and then I do it again. Yeah. And by some miracle, you live. This is this is kind of actually insane that you managed to live this long. Right. Like I said, I have gotten away with some pretty gross decisions. Yeah. And then you win. <laughs> right. And it's, it's That's Tanya, for you. It's Tanya 150. It's like... Well, I don't think I need to say much about what happened there. I think you... Nope very clear yeah. what your mistakes yeah. were um i think this will be the last the last one i'm gonna oh wait 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 um okay there's there's two more there's two more hands i wanted to, to pull out this okay. one this one had chun right let's see this is uh gonna turn four two calls on the left G. what about this poem um, we're two Shantan with, like, those are pretty good shapes. So I could call and drop one of the excess pairs, like drop the three, drop the six. Yeah. And hold the, I have, still have Dora one. Um... They are on dealer. We do need to pick up some points that is south two, and we're five thousand and change behind. Yeah. Um, Chundor one is only two thousand, but it it does push us into the the region where we can like any hand then we'll do. Yeah. So calling and dropping either three or six pin, probably the move. Yeah, this is the prime sort of position for a reactive poem. You see that you know uh Kamichas yeah there's something going on Kamichas really Kami cooking and then now also um Toyman's really cooking and and there are next Adora, closest yeah. rival with an East their dealer seat. their dealer they called with Adora. Yeah so this is this is a hundred percent we pwn this. We pwn this and take the fight. Right. Um that said after we pwn which pair are we keeping? Or like, you know, what's what's the cut? Uh, oh, you want to you want to drop the six so you lock in the door as part of the Rionman. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's not what you did, but y you understand the principle. Now that you pointed out, like, oh wait a minute, there's a door there. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If that door was red, I would have seen it. <laughs> um, the like, the the glare just like just. Gets camouflaged in your glasses. Just, yeah, just like I can't. No, sure. no idea what that is. Yeah, remember to check the door, kids. Remember to check the door. Out. I got. I um, got out. Last time was at Sparrow's Nest. Uh, you should just you just be the chi the five six yeah and drop six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I was like, I got yeah, I got yelled at Sparrow's Nest for cutting like Dora Yaku high early. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, other than that, yeah, that was the the most interesting part of that one. But you know, it looks like you intuitively understand some of the principles already. Yeah. And now we have to react because we. Um, it's all last. It's all last, and we have anything wins. Yeah. So um oh yeah 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 here it is right. I just want to go over your thought process of this this chi here. So what are you thinking? Um, I have to take anything that advances me in Chantan. Sure. Um, this this could become Tanya if I had to, but I've got the pair of East, and I haven't seen any of them come out yet. I haven't. I they haven't been cut yet. Okay, so your options are Tanya have, or Ton. They're Tan, Tanya or Ton, both of which, both of which are only fifteen hundred actually, because I don't have any Dora. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Sumo is, uh, does a Ricci stick in the middle now? Yeah. Um, so that's enough. Um, 
any 1500 point hand will even uh, will scoop that stick and win. Yeah. I mean, even if that wasn't the case, you'd want to keep the dealer and like potentially win next round. So, yeah. Right. So uh, you're missing something, though. There's um, I well, I guess there's technically two other Yaku you can maybe go for in this in this scenario. Oh, the three, four, five Sanchoku. Yeah, I yeah. saw that in the moment. I remember seeing that in the moment. Yeah, yeah, three, four, five Sanchoku. So this yeah, three, four, five is is actually really nice. I remember, I remember seeing that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like in the Hatsu, probably not gonna, probably just gonna discard it. Yeah. Um, and then also you know just like the the ability to like you know still make another meld here with this three three four five if they discard the four or the five or the two right. um right. or the three like or six and you know th that has such it's a very wide yeah yeah so this this is um i mean i of course it's not ideal but if we're gonna fight with anything this this is really nice to have um so yeah that, that was the only thing uh like it ended up pretty premature um, but that was the that was definitely the best call you could have made. Right. Let's review, all right? So, what is or could you explain to me like what is the ideal position to call a cheap hand? Um either uh when the cheap hand is going to be enough to make a difference, so 4k or less. Yeah. Um somebody else is making a move. Uh, and you're close to them, and you need to fight that person particularly. Mm -hmm. um, look at dealership. Uh, if your dealer and somebody else is 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 moving, you should counter push. Uh, and if somebody is dealer, they can threaten you. Try to knock them off dealer. Um, alternatively, yeah. if you're first by a large margin, try to move the game along by calling cheap hands. Yeah. Okay, that's about sums it up. And um, what kind of build or shape does your hand need to be for you to consider calling it? Uh, you should have uh, five defined blocks or like three in a complex shape that you can resolve into two more. Mm -hmm. um, try to fix bad weights like Kanchan, Penchan, Rianman that's dying. You're uh, always always try to get to Tenpai with uh, at least like like more than four weights. Yep. Yeah. Um, Live Shanpon or Rianman is fine. Look for uh, look for honor pairs that you can call off to get a Yaku to get a Yaku mm. uh, or fix fix shapes like five five six. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. And um, so, how should an open hand be played differently if you're in the first row of discards versus the second row of discards? Um. So uh, you want to you want to call if your shape and position are good in the first row, mm. but by the time you get into the second row, um, if you're if you're calling with Rian Chan Ten, um, look for safe tiles, um, mm -hmm. and try to if you're trying to advance the Chan Ten, make sure you still have a <clears throat> still have a way out. Uh, yeah. By the end by the end of the second row, now you're playing not to lose instead. Yeah. Um, so you're either playing to get, you're just trying to get Tempai, or you can only call reactively at that point if you can do so safely. Yeah. All right. I think I think that about sums it up. I think you got it. Um, those are the all the the calling principles for cheap hands that I I have for you. So I don't know if you have enough time to like get in a game and we uh, we went through. A, yeah. You do. Okay. So yeah. Let's see what's uh, right. what you got. Get some good calls in. Hope we got a good hand. Uh, I don't like these shapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's this maybe seven, eight, nine, maybe 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 Junchan going on all of a sudden. No, it's too many. <laughs> seven, eight, nine Sanchoku exists as a possibility, though. Okay, we don't. True. We, we don't do that. Okay, now. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, there's there's a party going on. But wh where is the party headed? We're gonna cut that for now. I think I agree. There's there's maybe an Itsu going on here. There's maybe a there's maybe Junchan going on. <clears throat> um. All right. <laughs> now I feel the Itsu. 
<laughs> um, I have two Penchon here with Adora, so I'm going to have to go this way. Um, the nice thing is uh, we need a pair. So... Probably pop onto that and drop this. <coughs> mm -hmm. There's the backfire. All right, you got it. Not an Itsu, though. Unfortunately, no, we... the two sixes were already cut by the time we got the shape, so... Oh, there's the Ichihime right. Khan. There's the Khan. Okay. We need a pair. That doesn't help <laughs> us. I, you could consider that a pair, but yeah, not a I great mean, one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my Okay, what's God. going on? Yeah, silver Walking... room. Right. Tompu Sen Silver Silver Room. Oh, oh no. no, no way, right? No 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 no. No way. I'm recording okay. by the way. <laughs> this could happen. Oh my what is going on? Oh my god. If if it's like okay, it's time for a lesson, here's a nice song in. I'll like uh... <laughs> A different kind of lesson than we were expecting. Oh Christ. Up. Oh. Nope. Yeah, nope. Uh... <laughs> nope. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I think uh I think I think we're good. <laughs> oh man. Just call Rona already. There we go. <laughs> Not even Toy Toy. All right. All right. Well, that was an interesting start. That's uh. But yeah, in in that hand, I think I might have actually preferred Junshan over. Yeah. Hitsu, because like there's just more calling potential, which right. is something I would prefer as the dealer. Oh my god. <laughs> they have like more than nine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Welcome to... Welcome to whatever happens in Silver Room, folks. Yeah, Silver um, Room East. Yeah, Silver Room Tompu is just... just, it's just it, Silver Room absolute, South is a little bit more... A little sophisticated. bit more restrained. A little yeah. bit more... No, it's, it's, not, it's not sophisticated. I'd use the word restrained. Restrained. All oh. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, like the, like the people who play in it should be like should be physically restrained from like doing something <laughs> like from hitting the con button. Um, yeah, still happens though. Still like happens. me included, right? Like yeah. I'm, uh, you know, I'm guilty. Um, Do you ever consider keeping the the five nine in case you get the seven for the young con? Um, not really. That doesn't. That doesn't really register with me. I think uh, I think I think you should consider it every now and then. Like the five seven nine is a pretty good shape, so I might keep that. I could, might keep the nine in in as opposed to like a one cut owner or something. Right. Yeah, these have to start going now. Um, probably should have held on to the nine a little bit longer. Cut these first. Yeah. Um. Eh, it's okay. Having a Yakuha is also just pretty nice. I don't think we need this because it breaks up this 3 4 4 shape. Mm -hmm. yeah, ah, there's, there's the it. 7. It backfire immediately. Um, there's no justice here. Uh, all right. We still have a game. Ooh.
You know, things get interesting. You gotta run those calculations. Yep. Oh, that one's, that one's interesting. All right, we're going for it. I think I agree. I think I agree. Let's take the fight to them. Yep. Now they're just letting us win. Pick up Dora. I mean, this is, you know... Silver Room, like that guy could maybe not have a Yaku. It's also possible. <laughs> but uh yeah, well, we'll still Oh there we go. The magic of calling. Oh, there's his Yaku. There it is. <coughs> there's... I don't know what's going on over there. Hmm. Dealer trying yeah, to reach I, Tenpai? I have no idea. Yeah, it might be going for K10. Or like, you know, Haite. <laughs> The uh, the calling has uh, become, and it doesn't matter because we got there first. Let's go. That was a very successful call. Very successful calling strategy. Go. Yeah, clarifying the shapes and getting rid of that penchon, uh, kanchan rather. Yeah, and more, more. Yeah, just like improving the shape, just in general, leaving us with the Ryan men instead of the, the kanchan was definitely a, a good call to uh, Chi there. Very good. Well, this is a pretty, um, I think, safe environment to also practice, like, Tadashi, you know, tracking as well. I mean, like, the, mm -hmm. it might not help, but it's good practice, I think. Yeah, I was looking a lot at that last night. Mm -hmm. They are actually discarding, like, human beings. We've gotten to the end of the first row without a con. It's a miracle. Yeah, crazy. All right. Not too bad. I've got the shapes. This four is floating. What could become very powerful if I pick up a five? That's good. That's real nice. Yeah, now this is called. Now I feel this is callable, especially if I can clarify this two three three block. Sure. Or the seven seven eight, like. Probably not that way though. Ooh, is now this is a choice. I don't think this helps much. I've already got this going on, so. Count the blocks, though. Oh, I'm underblocked. Yep. That solves one problem, but creates another. Let's fix the pair. Yeah, keeping that, keeping the six, seven, eight is pretty good here. This is this is still perfectly winnable and like actually not yeah, this isn't too bad at all. You can even call this is, to, this is also six seven eight sun choku potential. Yeah. And also the one pin war gone. That's another thing. So the, the right. two four was looking the two three was looking really weak. Even though the four pin is the door though. <laughs> there we go. Let's end it. So yeah, just uh, I think like we got we we got we got to recognize the 
yeah, you, you do have to get into the habit of counting, I guess, the, the blocks more often. Right. Especially with all of those complex shapes. Like 7, 7, 8, 2, 3, 3. Hmm. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. We will take literally anything at this point. Oh, boy. That's something. As a Sanma player, I'm very confused. What are these tiles? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't read Chinese. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What do these say? What, do, what does any of this say? All right, we've got a pair here. We've got a Rianmin here. We've got a f good floater here. We've got a complex shape we can clarify. Oh, I wish you didn't draw that, but mm. okay. Keeping the two mon. I mean, the cutting the two mon would have been better. Probably. As opposed to floating seven. I don't think we need to do this. I think I agree. We'd have to get rid of our one, two, three block anyway, if we did. Right. And in fact... They're looking like they just want to lock in second here. Maybe. I mean, I'm far enough away that it's hard to threaten me with anything less than a Mungan. Oh, that's oh, now funny. this is some Cheetoy looking stuff. Uh... Mm, I think I agree. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, keep Cheetor potential. I could take this for the toy toy out. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I don't, I don't think I want to. Yeah, toy. Um, I mean, you're already Ishanten. Right. Exactly. Like, I yeah. don't feel the need to. It's a Tom Pusen. It's not. It's not a. It's not Hanshan. You... Even even in that case, I'm I'm up 15k. I don't feel the need to. Or 14k. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel yeah. the need to. I I I am in no rush here. End them. <laughs> Destroy them. Let them know. But yeah, uh, yeah. Like I would be perfectly happy to dominate anything I get at this point. Yep. Uh, of course. Just... Of course. Of course. We're here for the win. Uh, that's technically an upgrade. I mean, yeah. Mm. Well, the move there, I think, uh, would have been He's six gone. mon, and that way you'd yeah. just go into just regular Tanyo. Right. Um, which is maybe better. Right. I think, I right. think it would be better. Okay. But not by a lot. Yeah, no, no, I see that. Yeah, I see that. No. You are not a silver player. <laughs> I don't belong here, help. <laughs> I got yeah. lost on I got Get lost on the way here. I got lost on the way here somehow. Hmm. I mean now we just take the tempai. Yeah. It's it's bad, but we take it. Yeah. Of course. And how's our safety looking? We're in the second row. Um Well, well, you know, before that I was going to say it didn't it didn't look it didn't look that great although two like triple two mon discard is is probably the best we have given all two, the threes are gone. Two pin was also safe. Two pin also safe. Um against pretty safe the, against everyone. Like it's a, yeah. it's like a one chance and then Genbutsu against Right. Uh Shimcha. Yeah. Right. Hey, not too bad. And you had you had some pretty good call of hands to there as well. Yeah, like, that's uh, that's what gave me a little bit like, hey, okay, now I'm consciously thinking about it. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Awesome. 
You want to do it again? I, or uh, yeah, I have to. I have to know. Did they have it? <laughs> did they have the Yakuman? <laughs> no way. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. Yeah. No. Yeah. They had. They had a very. They had a toy toy with Dora. Uh, it wasn't even. It wasn't even ten by. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I saw this and freaked. Yeah, I, I mean, like, like no, you know, no. who, who, like at that point, like, no. you, you don't even have Tenpai. Like, why, do you, why do you even risk the chance? So, just leave. Yep. You can. Well, you can always just plenty leave. of hands. Plenty of hands still left. Yeah, like this guy with the suit. He's a, a pocket watch. I like the pocket watch. Yeah, it's pocket watches are cool. Like, this boss vibe. Yeah. Um. Fun fact, because I pulled, I pulled him very early on when I was playing Mashal. I learned basically through Mashal. Yeah. Um. I learned the Japanese Yaku names by listening to him pronounce them. Ah. Because he doesn't have this like weird. You know, yeah, like <laughs> yeah, like this this weird high pitch, you know, six year old screaming voice. Or, or like a uh, or like a uh, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Jo Joseph. Santa. <laughs> uh. I mean, I do, I do read and understand some Japanese. Um, but I do too. So, so the so the pronunciation wasn't exactly like the hard thing. It was just, it was just hearing him say the Yaku hmm. names and associating it with the Yaku. Yeah. Um. That made me more comfortable with it. I can't even remember how I learned all the Yaku names anymore. It's so long ago. Feel like this presents a bit of a weird situation for me because now this looks callable because there's Dora and there's there's like Dora Dora here. But where's my pair? I'd have to drop one three to get a pair. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so I would maybe... not. I would just generally not recommend the pawn here if you have like headless pawn. I would not recommend most of the time. Like, he well, headless pawn ishanten into yeah, senpai into by... well into another ishanten. Not even into senpai. Yeah, that's right. Not a good move. Although, although you do have a Dora. I mean, if you had, if you really needed value. That was, that's a way to do it. This is going to go anyway? Mm hmm Yeah. So if I pick up the six, I... Whoa! Ooh. Tonky. Yeah. Hey, no me. There might have been okay. an opportunity for us to discard that earlier. So that we'd have a Genbutsu, knowing that that's, the rest of our hand was... That felt very random, though. Yeah, that I mean... That felt like a very random deal in. Yeah, but, uh, you know, part of Mahjong is accounting for the random factor, right? Well, there you have to discard the one. Discard the one. The one's more redundant than the nine. Oh, here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because there's potentially already a pair up here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's not like one, two, three, four. No baton shape would help. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would even discard. I would even keep the east. Yeah, yeah. The Timbagiri button a little bit too strong. Still good shape overall. Still also a callable on and drop nine nine if I have if I can clarify that. Mm-hmm. Well remember in the in the case the case study before, it was a it was a kind of different case where like um the equivalence of the eight nine nine was Right, is different. Yeah, and it was in a much worse hand than this. Like it had like other, it had like three heads. Had like other issues, or yeah. like yeah, three or four heads. Yeah, it was. Yeah, overall, it's saying it's gonna play itself. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, until that happens. It's... All right. All right, now we're push folding. That's probably okay to send. Yep. Keep in track. And now we. Hmm. 
we either have a Sean Palm with a one missing or a Penchon. But it's Genbutsu to them, so... You gotta decide. Neat. Bloody <laughs> hell. Uh, I wasn't keeping track of Tadashi, but my, that might have been a Tadashi night, so who knows. But yeah, um, in that case, like I would just, I would just discard the the safe tile, right? I mean, the 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 weights aren't that different. And then once you call Richie, no one's gonna discard the nine, like because it's not safe against you, right? If 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 they have other options. So yeah, just like just take the, just take the other weight, like you know, right. seven so yeah, it's ugly, but they're in Richie, it doesn't matter. His hand is too ugly to start calling. Maybe. There's like nothing here. I mean, there's Riamman here, there's this, there's the 889, but if I'm calling that, what am I getting? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, now things have, have changed. Now we have a hand. Um, I'm, I'm, I would have thought about it. I would have thought about the 8-so eight, eight actually. Just like considering we have a four and five, like we could get another block there or somewhere. That or maybe a Yakuhai along the way. But uh but yeah, like waiting is is fine too. I'd have to ask Mortal, I'm not sure I'm not sure uh if that would actually be a good pawn in this case. <coughs> the the one person called, so everybody has to call fast. Just kicked in. Yep. That's what's so great about uh, Silver Tombusen. Just like you get to really practice your calling skills. I'm in fourth. I better start calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See. Mm hmm. Yeah. Smooth sailing. Easy. Okay. <coughs> Twenty two, maybe. Going on over there. Ooh, the suspense. Yeah. That doesn't help at all. You go for the car, Gary. <laughs> the car, they won't even notice. I mean, I'm not entitled to say anything because I am still in Silver Room after not playing for how long, but... Mm -hmm. um, You know. I mean, with with level you're playing, you'll easily get out in no time. If you yeah. just it's lap, like, okay. you know, just grind it. I mean, yeah, I just gotta find. I just gotta put in the time. Make the time to uh, push this up. And there it is. Twenty nine hundred gives us a little bit of gives us a little bit of a chance now. Ugh. What? This is not what call at all. Probably not. Needs, uh, some extra something. This is basically headless. <laughs> Doesn't have great shapes. Yeah. I don't see a... Ton so, of anywhere, actually, so funny probably, thing... Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> probably want to cut this now. Mm-hmm. I would have actually kept the two-pin and cut the two-so turn-and-go because of Sanshoku. 
Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a thing you also want to consider for callable hands, is to make your hand as callable as possible. And so that means considering right, yeah. like weird stuff like Shanshoku or Isu every now and then. Okay, um... <coughs> <coughs> But whatever, whatever, you're Ishanten now. It's not bad. It's a bad Ishanten, it's Kanchan Kanchan, but... Okay, that's oh, the upgrade. Oh yeah, got better. <laughs> a random disconnected player. Uh, Tombu Silver Tombu Sen Classic. I I very rarely play Tombu Sen anymore. So like, I don't know. I also think like maybe like higher rank players care more about. Right. Yeah. They'll, they'll, yeah. I don't know, maybe they're they're on a bus and they drove into a bad area. Yeah. Oh, there they go. Maybe in another universe that one pin could have been a chi, but oh well, they pawned anyway. <laughs> I ooh, not worth. I uh, like I. Come on. Okay. Maybe I think the three pin. I think the three pin yeah. go was better, because in the in the case you get the five six seven, that's still better because you could you you get better weights later. So like the upgrade potential of the five seven seven is better, even if like it doesn't increase your shanten. Right. You need to keep that green. Oh, for safety, drop this one instead. No, not the one. I'm I'm confused. The seven, the seven man. It's the seven. You have one, three, oh, okay. four, five. Keep their down. Oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well, now the seven, I don't know. If you're worried if the seven could deal in, it's up to you. But, like, but yeah, you're going to discard it anyway. We're going to send it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Needs. But it would have been nice to have that as a Hatsu or, or Sha instead. Oh, there's the chase. All right, send... Uh, got an emote wore this, wore this. You gotta let him know that you're gonna win. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> too late now. You missed your chance. Some... My emote game is weak. <laughs> uh... I, have my, I have my own emotes for, like, every situation. Just, like... I would like I would like to leave this game, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Um Yeah, so I'll I'll remind you next time also for Tsumogiri. Like just yeah. like don't Tsumogiri the the safe tile. Keep the safe tile yeah. with when we have a good shape. I mean maybe, you know, we'll we'll keep we'll keep tiles that give us better acceptance, but well, even then, sometimes, sometimes right. it's better to keep the safe tile. <clears throat> oh, okay. Now we call it the Tempai with Tanya Dora too. Yep. What's going on over there? What's going on over there? <coughs> Mm, yeah, three Dora now on the board. <laughs> the 
Naka. So, you more confident now for uh, Nomi League? Yeah. Coming up? A little bit. There's something um there's something a little extra intimidating about the environment of Nomi League. It's if you've never been under the lights on camera. Yeah. Um trying to play trying to play in focus. It is yeah. very distracting and yeah. I don't like the calls going on over there. I don't like this Chanta going on on my right or this Junchan going on on my right. Um, yeah. Well, I've been to I've been to fighting game tournaments, but um, okay. You don't. I don't really. You know, you, at a fighting game tournament, you don't really like have to concentrate for like, like basically hours, like at a time. You know. Yeah, Unless they're like in grand finals of like Mortal Kombat or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. If you're in one of the big games and you're uh, in the finals, then yeah, you have to you have to maintain your concentration for a long time. There's yeah. there's a physical element to it. <laughs> of, mm. I mean, it's the same thing for for going to tournaments and whatnot. Um, it's the same thing for going to tournaments, where you mm. have to maintain this physical. Okay. I'm the, perfectly happy with that. Yeah. I'm I'm perfectly happy for that not to be anything yeah. more than just Yeah, physical okay. like presence or Right. Yeah, that concentration. That like that the neuron the, the muscles in your brain. Like meaning the hmm. Yeah, we keep the nine around the five pin. Five and nine. Not a bad, not a bad combination. Yeah, I was remembering what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. We're learning. Uh... That's our wind. Probably should have. Yeah. Well, small mistake. Probably should have dropped the pair south, even, even, but. Eh, well, you never know. I mean, I'm just happy to fold completely here. That's true, but like, you don't I have, have to, to do it now. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to not play more Mahjong right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Even though that's Dora, we have, we'll... We'll cut it for the sake of making gestures in the direction of Tenpai. Okay. Oh, there's, the, there's the con. On con this time. Yeah, this is a pretty boring no call hand anyway. Yeah. The um, I saw one of those uh, those Connect Four memes. Yeah. Uh, it was just like it was just Ichihime on the box of Connect Four, and it just said Connect Con, the classic <laughs> Bronze Room game. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. This is this classic. Anyway, we gotta pay attention to this one, Richie. Gotta pay attention to the oh, two Richies. Ooh. Oh, one Richie. oh okay. Guess we're good. What? All right. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a Chinitsu. Wait, wait. Wait. No. Wait, is that enough? Uh, That's not enough, right? It's not enough. Oh, it's not God. enough. That, is, that was kind of scary. With two Ricci sticks? <laughs> it's just Oh, it was enough. just one Ricci stick, yeah. But... Whoo! All right, well... All right. All right, so we learned some things today about when it's a good idea to call and move forward with a hand, mm -hmm. how to get rid of bad shapes with calls, and yeah. uh, pay attention to your blocks and your safety. Don't automatically sumo geary things. Look for... Look for little marginal upgrades. Look for in safety and acceptance. Yeah, it's a lot of little things that I think if you just like keep playing some ranked games, just just like a Tonpusen every day or whatever. Like I think I think you'll get there. I think uh, right. yeah. I mean you have enough experience to, like put that into practice. 
yeah, pretty easily, I think. Practice. All right. Yeah. So we'll head off for the That's week. for today. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you prefer more long form, lightly edited content like this, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe so I know to make another one sometime. Go Opie Dopes!